in front of you wearing the road maroon. And that is knocked out. The opening possession here, you're starting five tonight. Lacey, Gotting, Mayor, Daly, Wagner's Louisville right away. A game this season, but Louisville is a team that likes to get up and down, too. No, this is going to be a very fast-paced game, Jeff. Right away, Louisville playing with the energy that Jeff Walls likes to see. And has her team at 13-7 and seven against the 14th toughest schedule in the country as the three falls. And even though this has been a difficult season by Louisville standards, you always get the feeling they'll be all right as the season you progresses. Know that, that is one thing. He always figures it out, and he always, you know. Cochran carrying it almost across the timeline for Louisville. They reward her for her efforts inside. Nice pass underneath to Dixon for two. Tries to shoot it up and over Gokdang at the side of the backboard. There to Wagner who flips it in. Out. Jones out front, middle of the zone. Now Carr for three, got it! And this the only player this season to have 20 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, and five steals in a game, which he did against Florida State. As the ball works its way to Jones, who hits the jumper. Casa Robinson, along with Josie Williams, and Nyla Harris checking in. Williams right away gets a bucket. Harris, the impressive freshman, has been a nice contributor off the bench. Van Lith, a corner three, got it! Haley Van Lith, we talked about her earlier. We talked about how she hasn't been great this season from the three-point line. Todd. And that's one thing. If you look at all of Boston College's game, they love to go inside. They love to drive the ball. Here's Carr. Trying to get to the rim, and she scooped it underneath to Cochran. What a play from Carr. But she needs some help from her teammates in the turnover category as Carr for three. Got it. It's another look at the three. Yeah, and good court awareness by Olivia Cochran to find. Here's Mayer guarded by Carr out front. Mayer, one of a couple Boston kids on this BC roster. This curl there from Lacey and banked in the three. And JoJo Lacey leads Boston College in, in threes made, an excellent three-point shooter. But Haley Van Lith comes down to the other end and knocks it down. Answer from Haley Van Lith, her second three of the night. Here's Wagner. Mayor for three. Got it. Three threes in 23 seconds between these two teams. A bad handoff by Russell, and it's stolen by Wagner. And the lefty layup is good. Jeff Walls still talking to the referees. Van Tiberen for three, got it. And just like that, BC is back to a five-point deficit. The lead up four on Louisville here in the second quarter. Running a bunch of different stats across that box score as Wagner trying to score over Van Lith. Still a fight in the post. Got her own miss. The third time is good. And, and Wagner averaging 3.2 offensive rebounds per game. Lacey hits a three. Her second of the game. An angsty second quarter for Louisville, and it's tied up. And Jeff, just this back and forth pace right now. Van Timmeren. Gives BC the lead. A 9-0 run. And Boston College just continuing to push the pace, not allowing Louisville to set up in any type of defense. Inside, another layup, and Jeff Walls is going to call a timeout. Wagner getting in some passing lanes, making some easy layups, and now they're up, like you said, on Louisville at the Yum Center. There's a block. It's Kono and Robinson. Paired with Carr and Van Lith, a four-guard lineup with Jess Dixon as the big for Louisville. Trying to find her in the post, but Carr fires a three and got it. That Chris Lynn Carr three, that is a deep three. But we Wagner having a good solid 
Game on the glass, six rebounds for her to go with her eight points. Pull up jumper is good from Daly. Wasn't really ready for it. Cochran, the jumper from inside the free throw arc there makes it. Yeah, that's that's a good stat line. Staying outside the mayor for three. There's a fight underneath between Jones and ultimately Dixon, her own teammate. It fell to Mayer who scores. In Boston College, really getting after it on the defensive end and just making Louisville make plays they don't want to play. Dixon on the offensive board. Carr was open for a second. Nice pass inside. And Cochran with the finish. Daly driving on Cochran. Louisville wanted to travel. Mayer steps into the jumper, got it. Some people may not think those deflections matter, but they do. And lift for three. She has been fantastic. I think she thought she got caught in the air there. Turned it over. Carr missed a little floater. Put back is good for Louisville. Excuse me, 150 seconds of this third quarter. Nice pass from Cotto inside to Dixon. And Narika Kono, she's an excellent three-point shooter. Boston College runs her off the line. BC trying to hang tight, haven't made a field goal in the last 415. To Van Timmer and jumper is good. That's a big one for BC. To Mayer. Flipped it back inside to Van Timmer and finished. And one. Burst from BC. This is where they need their stars to come alive. Louisville, and that's exactly what happens. Van Lith all the way to the 10. Here's Mayer guarded out front by Carr. Action starts for BC. Lacey, nice shot, flips it up and in, and one. Jeff Greer, Jess Lindley here with you on the ACC Network. Wagner dumps it off to Gokting and flipped it up, and it's a tie game. She's played every minute with Kristen Carr. And still putting in that excellent defensive effort. Conklin underneath. Got it. If I know him well enough, he was saying she wasn't going to make that shot. That's a tough, tough shot with a hand in the face. Robinson, the jumper, got it to roll. Big shot from Mikasa Robinson. And we've seen her score a little bit more and more this season, but 6.40 to go, and she knocks down a big one. How about that for a big one? Mayer ties it up at 55. Robinson out front, 12 on the shot clock. Nice cut, and pass, and finish. Here's Van Timmeren. Todd with a nice up fake all the way to the rim. That's a tough Ooh. shot that's in. Haley Van Lith running her off the line. That incredible shot. Does Louisville it's have an speechless. answer? <laughs> Van Lith, little hezzy dribble, fall away, got it. 59-57, it's one of those things, who can play defense? Who can get down in the stance for the next five minutes and say, I'm not going to allow you to score? And just like that, Louisville steals the basketball. Chrislyn Carr with the huge three. And she's shown it tonight. And she is into the lane, cut off by Todd. Nice pass from Robinson and Harris with the finish. Big possession here for BC. Mayer for three. She needed it. And so did BC. Four point game, three and a half minutes to go. Here's Van Lith. Trying to turn. Steps through, flips it up and in. If they want to start using them at some point. Here's Mayer, guarded by Cochran out front. Step back jumper, missed it. And Carr comes down with the rebound. She's got Van Lith with her. Van Lith, tough catch, flips it up, missed it. BC trying to push it ahead to the other direction and a quick flip in is good from Lacey. She has 15. Both of those things have helped them immensely. As Mayer off to Van Timmeren for three. That's a huge shot for BC. I was telling her team players to foul somebody else other than her. First free throw is up and good. Van Lith has 23 now. Washington State native makes the second one. 
with timeout for Boston College. I believe they're going to advance the ball, too, between those two teams. And we know Timmerin. Boston College beat NC State just a few weeks ago. Boston has scored 71 points right now and have still turned the ball over 21 times. So just think about if in and Boston College with 65 points. We're shooting 54% here in the second half. Six of 12 from three-point range for the game. An easy layup or an and one. Chrislyn Carr realized that she they still had three fouls to give, so she slowed down their offense, and now Boston College has to set it back up. That's a tough shot from Lacey with Robinson in her face <laughs> while dribbling out of traffic, and that's how this thing is going to end. What a game this was, and Louisville is going to hang on and win 73-65.